the 177 ad for a break of view app on this first five minute pullback on WLGS. Um, I love buying the break of view app off of the first five minute candle. Um, now I'm just looking for it to curl up to high a day, which is what, 197 you said? Yeah, One, 197, $2 range. I like this setup a lot, but break one eighty five. Let's see, here we go, here we go. Testing one ninety. Here we go. Break 190. 90. Here we go. 197 high a day. 210 price targets in this. 205, 210. I'll start offloading some shares. Okay, 197. Testing high a day. We'll break high a day. There it goes. There's two dollars. Break two dollars. Here we go. Now looking for 210. 210. I'll start offloading some shares. That broke with some volume. I'm shocked this has already retested too. Still holding. Good for two ten. One minute candle. Break two dollars. Still holding full position. I haven't taken any yet. I'll be shocked if it doesn't retest too. New five minute candle. Let's see what this does here.
There's the retest of $2, still holding full position. We'll break two. There's two. 210 price targets. Here we go. Still hard to get a level two read on light speed. They're looking for 210. Here we go. There's 210 as promised. There's 210. Okay, so in just a second, I'm gonna be taking half profit here. So it took some shares of profit right there. 215, I'll take a little bit more. Being really patient with this one. I still have two thirds of my position. I had 12,000 shares, I have 8,000 left. Looking for 215. New five minute candle here in 20 seconds. Figure it was gonna come down and test the old pre-market high. New five minute candle here. Going back up to retest 210. Tapping 210. Broke 210, 215. I was looking for. Didn't fill my entire order, unfortunately. 
unfortunately. So we're gonna take some more profit there. I'm gonna take the rest profit. So about $3,000 on that stock. In this market, in this market, I think it's risky to size up right at the break because there's been so many fake outs over the past year. Um, obviously when we're on a hot spree like we were in the two weeks in April, um, then that's fine, but it's very market based. Um, right now we're experiencing a lot of fake outs. So personally, um, I like to size up before the break in case of a fake out and it comes back down, I'm selling for a smaller loss or for a break even trade. If I'm simply just buying right at the break, I can get waxed often. So here we go, I did, I did add there. Um, will, that, will that break to, I don't even know my average. I don't, I don't see my, hold on, new positions, here we go. So looking forward to break 225. rejected on the retest, I'll, I'll start locking in the profit. So, 224, 225, broke it. I don't know, what's high day on this? 230, 235? Stop loss at break even, which is 215. Yeah. Well, the biggest thing, the biggest thing right here is because it pulled on back so aggressively. By the time it hits the pre-market high, the move, I, in my opinion, the move would be close to done. Um, so if you want to actually profit on this, buying at the, the break, I'm going to be selling into that break 100%. Watch this. So. Here we go. 234. Tap 234. In that scenario, you would have been filled already. Down a few pennies of share. So broke. I'm selling into this move. So sold most of my position. Looking for 240 to sell the rest. Still holding some of my shares in case of a retest, but I'm holding one third of my position. I sold most of it over high a day. Let it retest. Yeah. So I'm gonna take the rest profit there. That's exactly what I mean. I mean, that is literally exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> 